Can I just testify to the power of Malcolm Nance? I, Frangela sent a text, Malcolm, I don't, they, oh. just, they were, I, it's I not just Frangela. orgasmic, it was like a spiritual Ooh. awakening that you called, said that, I don't know, he taught you're submarine ready, something, Navy talk, <laughs> uh, he so. was having a malegasm, I don't know. <laughs> Is that but what they so, call it? Yes. So now we've had at least two questions about Putin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and people health. have asked about Putin's health because he doesn't look good on video, blah, blah, blah. Is he well? If he was not, what would happen to the war in Ukraine? I think the Central Intelligence Agency director yesterday answered that question. He said their assessment is, is that he is still in too good a health that he's in right now, that he's, uh, he's, he's very healthy for what we know. Damn. You can't I mean, know no. everything. I mean, you could only have doctors watch him on television, but you never know what's happening inside the head. You never know what's yeah. happening inside the brain. Mm -hmm. um, and it could just be a psychotic breakdown of a man who's, you know, always been on the verge of, you know, psychosis. We just don't know. Yeah. What would happen with Putin gone in Russia one way or another? I don't know, but I'm willing to find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's take that. Like, that. would the war collapse if he just suddenly died today? Um, what we call a lead-filled change of command. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, I think the army would be bought back to, because there would be a possibility of civil war in Russia. Yeah. The pro-Putin people, the oligarchs who fund Putin, and then the people who are the oligarchs who hated Putin for stealing all their money. The big question is, wh what would the chain of command for the atomic bombs be? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. 4,000 of them. Malcolm, what is I, we talked off air a little bit about mm. what your take is because you're going back to Ukraine yeah. to fight with the Legion again uh, Sunday. Mm -hmm. w what is your take on when you know because you, you were saying I mean clearly Ru this has gone on a lot longer than Russia thought, but it's clearly affecting inflation, gas prices, all of that. Do you have an idea when you think? Well, I mean, it, yeah, how long is going to go? It on? affects inflation, gas prices, and and stuff like that in the United States, but you know. Uh, here in the United States, I mean, your children are being killed by your own citizens as opposed to stepping in the street and like the 13-year-old kid that was killed in Kharkiv uh, just yesterday. His father, you know, there's a photograph of a police woman trying to console the father who's sitting there holding his dead son's hand. That was unnecessary. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's military weapons being thrown at children, women and children, and disrupting people's lives. So we've got it pretty good. That's not happening to us. Our gas price of may have gone up a dollar a gallon. Now it's going down, and you don't see anybody getting credit for it. But more importantly, it's the price you're going to pay when you allow unchained aggression to happen yeah. around the world. You think your gas prices are bad now? What if Iran detonates a nuke tomorrow and says, now we're a nuclear power? How high do you think the price of gas will go then? Yeah. $200 and a barrel? And let's hope we don't choose uh, fascism in November because of gas prices. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that, that's I, where we are. And, no, and, and that's I, the I choice. wonder, you serving in Ukraine, are you more concerned about saving democracy there or here? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm more concerned about saving it here as we come towards November, you know, and yeah. I'll see whether when I come out, I mean, I can, I can come out any time. But, uh, you know, that's what this book was about. Yep. You know, I mean, this is why we need to get it to number one on the New York Times bestsellers list. Just go buy it. Go buy three copies. Yep. Give it to everybody you know. It's, it's a warning. I don't need the money. I gave the money away, right? I gave my advance yeah. to the Legion, for yeah. the most part, to yeah. save people's lives. And, um, but democracy is at stake here now. You have four months to unscrew this thing, to all become alpha liberals and be furious, furious about the defense of democracy. Uh, this 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 uh, this this November. That's another T-shirt. I'm defending democracy. Screw yeah. you. That's why sexy. Li it's the sexy liberal save democracy tour. That's which right. Th those T-shirts are available now and fantastic. There you go. Um, here's a good sign. Republicans are getting swamped by Democrats in the race for small donor cash, which could help lead to a Republican Senate debacle in November, in the November midterms. Um, Analysts are saying Democrats across the 10 most con te uh, competitive Senate races are outraising Republicans by more than 75 million among small donors. Even the GOP's best small donor performers are being swamped by huge ga grassroots backing on the other side. Malcolm, I feel a blue tsunami. Mm -hmm. We coming. just have to execute it, right? Like you say, don't get happy. We have to execute this. We can't just say, you know, because of Roe, because of this, but we feel it. But yeah. we have to, that you have to turn out, and as you always say, get 10 other people you can't it's not just you we're pessimistic 
too. We tend to be very pessimistic about our chances. That's why I'm like an alpha liberal on t-shirts. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm an alpha liberal. Right? You. Are you voting? Get your butt out and vote. Yep. You need to be the person who's going to execute this thing. Right? You're going to buy uh, They Want to Kill Americans and you're going to send money to tapestry.org so that uh, so that the Legion gets some too.